have any tips or advice for anyone starting out their coding journey? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I think I was able to learn so much just online through courses and like even by watching this video that's showing that you're like seeking out information to like help you on that journey. And I'm sure you've like already found a lot of other resources too. I think, yeah, there's a wealth of information that you can learn online. And like when I was in my first job, that was primarily how I learned was just by Googling things that I was curious about and also like taking courses. Um, specifically, I was like using like Udemy and uh, I'm, I'm even forgetting like which ones I've taken. And of course that's gonna change so much depending on like what language and like what type of thing you wanna get into. Um, but yeah, really casting a wide net and uh, like carefully evaluating what courses you're taking, I think is like something that's really high impact um, and a skill that will always help you. Um, like I'm still learning and like taking courses online and like trying to grow. That's one of the fun things about technology is that it, it's always changing. There's always things to learn. Um, and that's fun to like figure that out. I think too, besides teaching myself online, a huge, huge help was finding a technical mentor. So once you're in a role where you are uh, coding day to day, or maybe even you aren't, that's not like your technical job, but you're working in an organization where there's folks coding, uh, really befriending those people and like developing a relationship with them and letting them know of your ambitions is a game changer. Like. I think in my, my current job at the Vertical Farming Company, there were a couple folks that were much more senior than me and them looking over my code, like making a, like a pull request and having them review it, um, took me from being kind of a like self-taught person who, you know, can get the job done, but maybe it's not the most efficient or the most stylistically great, um, going from somebody like that to a more senior engineer. And I think they're able to also parse through better, like what types of things you should be focusing on. Cause I think that was something I struggled with in the beginning was, you know, there's a million things you can study online, but like which ones are actually the highest impact and like most valuable use of my time. But by talking through my ambitions with a mentor or like somebody that has more experience, that was so helpful um, to like really like narrow that down and, and figure out what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I love that you said that actually, because I think a lot of people think that coding is very siloed or like, you know, you're just you behind the screen, but there's actually a lot of collaboration with coding. You're always working with a team, um, mentors, people more senior than you who can look over your code and yeah, give you tips. And you're often, you, you often can't build something on your own. Um, it's also more fun to do it in a team. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Do you have any tips or advice for people starting out with code? If they're completely new to coding, they're about to start their coding journey. Yeah, um, the fundamentals are very important. You know, like we said, you know, like a, like a language, for example, like knowing the syntax and all. Um, I think being able to have a strong uh, fundamental in, in coding um, or even in uh, just computer science in general. Uh, so knowing data structures, knowing algorithms, uh, that really helps with, you know, your career down the line when it comes up in design and, and, and conversations, for example. Uh, so having a strong fundamental understanding of all of that would be very helpful. Um, Beyond that, I would also say we talked about disciplines, right? We talked about multiple disciplines, uh, really like where is your problem at? And, you know, I want to encourage everybody that like, you know, there, there are problems to be solved everywhere. And oftentimes they could be solved in, in new ways, interesting ways with, um, with coding. Uh, you know, things, for example, could be uh, any manual tasks, manual calculations could be automated, for example, in certain fields that you, you wouldn't you wouldn't really traditionally think of putting coding there. Uh, but they could also they, they could all, you know, like um, I would say, don't limit yourself to disciplines where where you think like, oh, yeah, obviously it's coding, uh, but really you can explore. I would also say 
you know, as you develop, as you continue in your coding journey, um, you, you know, like be open. There, there are multiple paths you can take. Like, you know, you can you can be a domain expert in uh, just a, a one particular technical part, uh, but you can also uh, be an expert on a higher level and be involved in design and architecture of, um, of software, for example. Um, you could also explore, for example, like data scientists, right? Um, uh, so like multiple roles, you know, doesn't have to be limited on what you started out with. Do you have any tips or advice for people starting out their coding journey? So people completely new to coding. So I think at the beginning, it's going to be difficult, especially if you pick it up later. I think the learning curve is not always very motivating at the beginning, but you just have to like keep doing it and keep asking questions and try to understand how to do because I would really promise you or everyone who is trying coding that it will get better and then the flow will come and then you will enjoy it. And the other thing, which is I think very specific, so when I was uh, thinking before our uh, interview today, is that for me having a good application was super important. That if you work for something that you are passionate about, whatever it is, I mean for me it was uh, statistical analysis, but it can be anything like robotics or uh, web design so whatever really interests you pick something and then try to learn it and then if you know this context then you can just generalize it because at the end of the day there are thousands of common patterns so pick a use case that you like uh, like ACID and learn everything that you want and then you can see how your knowledge is applicable for other areas and then you can be a super cool uh, coder or whatever you have on your mind. Yeah, I, I love that because I think there's a lot of general um, advice out there or in general people saying, you know, everyone can learn how to code and that's true, but it's, I think like anything in life, there's a, there's a learning curve at the beginning and a lot of people who start, I mean, that's already a huge first step to actually start and put your mind to doing Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But then after you start, there's a learning curve where a lot of people might fall off because they think it's not for them but you, you absolutely cannot know in the first three weeks because some, no, absolutely, people, yeah. some people, not catch up later, but some people take a bit longer to get it. But once they get it, you know, they're very strong. Um, no, exactly. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it's easy to get discouraged at the, at the beginning because especially if you don't have a coding background, it's a completely new concept. It's like learning a new language, like you're not going to learn a language in three weeks or I don't know in my case with Spanish even in five years and coding is just like that you have to adjust your mind and then just stick to it and do it yeah if you start later it's not really like anything you've done before if you haven't done anything programmatic um, you know if you learn a new language hopefully if it's similar to your native language you have something to compare yeah. to but if it's your first ever coding language it's a yeah it's, completely it's a completely different mindset, mindset. Yeah. yeah so um but stick to it because it's worth it and it gets fun and Absolutely. the better you get the more fun it gets i agree and then once you have your first own applications or your first own pipelines that's an amazing feeling and it can be as simple as as it gets or, and then later on, much more complex. But I think you will just love that you created something. Do you have any tips and advice to share um, with people who are starting out their coding journey? Yeah. I think everybody is, is different, right? There's not going to be like a silver bullet um, that's going to help everybody. The main thing, though, that I would always tell students or that, that we see because I'm teaching at, at a boot camp, right? So it's it's very intense um, and it's over a few weeks people are trying to learn how to code. And a lot of people are absolutely frustrated with the process as well because learning is just tough. Like at the moment, I'm learning also a bit of mobile development, which is just completely out of, out of everything I've done before, sort of. And it's just difficult. And it also puts, it, it makes me realize how difficult the learning process is again, right? Because now when you're like more advanced, you it, it's, it doesn't feel necessarily the same. Uh, the same difficulty level. So I would just say for everybody, you know, it, it, for everybody it feels this way. Like if you start out with it and you're actually really interested in coding, 
stick with it. And the first few weeks are not predictive of like how good of a coder you're going to be. You might really, you might really have the feeling at the beginning you suck and nothing makes sense. And that feeling probably continues for like a few months until you feel like some kind of level of competency where you're like, okay, this, this now starts to make sense. But as long as you're enjoying sort of the process or as long as you are really interested in working with computers every day, all day, which is not, not all day, but I'm saying like 40 hours a week. If you can see yourself in that, just stick with it. There's nobody. You know, I've taught now, I don't know, probably over 200 students, and I don't think there was one where I was like, oh, this person is too stupid to learn how to code. Like, it, it is difficult, it requires a lot of time, but it's not rocket science um, in that sense. You can you can all learn it, I would say. You just have to stick with it, and that's, I think, the toughest bit at the beginning.